Hey, you welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are talking about Mullen Automotive's MULN share price to determine the future share price of this company, their price targets, if this company has been developing positively or negatively, as well as what experts and professionals think of this overall company. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. Don't forget to smash that like button, and now let's jump right into today's stories. If you're not already familiar with this company, and if you've watched my videos before, from my very first video on Mullen Automotive, I said to be extremely careful with this company and that I personally would not invest into this company unless they proved themselves. And I said three ways in which they could do this. They could either scale up their production to where they are making hundreds of thousands of vehicles, which is not happening right now. They could actually sell vehicles, which they haven't. Literally, this is a pre-revenue company where they haven't sold any vehicles, they only have pre-orders, or the company could become profitable, all three of which have not happened, and if they are not showing investors value, then there's no reason why I personally would invest according to my risk management principles. But as of late, the MULN share price for Mullen Automotive, which is an electric vehicle manufacturer, their shares have increased, and this is mainly due to the excitement around their falling short interest, because as of late, many investors have been shorting this company because their share price is anticipated to drop very low. So it investors are trying to take advantage of that and make money off of this, but according to data that we've received from Fintel, their short interest of their overall float and their off-exchange short volume ratio stands at around 11.88% and 35.63% respectively. Now, that may seem high at first, because both of these levels are still clearly elevated, however, the good news is that these have dramatically decreased. For instance, regarding their short interest of float, their overall percentage fell from 14.8% down to 11.88%, which is good news, and their overall off-exchange short volume ratio fell from nearly 50% down to just 35.63%. So in that regard, that is good for the company, which is causing their overall MULN share price to increase. But does this make MULN stock or Mullen stock a good investment opportunity, considering that it's trading for around 40 cents right now? Well, the first thing to do is to reach through everyone's opinions because you find investors who are either very bullish, very negative, or somewhat in the middle to where they just invest into this company. So if it does become something, it could pay off for them. Now, for me, I'm more toward the bearish side, even though I personally am not betting against this company by shorting it. I am just not investing into it because I believe there are other better electric vehicles on the market right now, like BYD, Tesla, and companies like that. Right now, Mullen is just too risky for me personally, and I haven't really been a fan, and I'll tell you why that is in just a moment. Right now, Mullen as an investment remains extremely speculative, despite incredible retail support. Many retail investors are driving the price and the overall stock of this company upwards. But fundamentally, I just don't see the value in this company as of right now. Mullen has repeatedly overpromised and underdelivered, which has caused their overall retail investors to liquidate and leave the stock. That's why, according to tip ranks, who surveyed their investors, only 1.2% of their portfolios even held the MULN stock. And to point out an even larger problem, if the MULN share price drops below 38 cents, that's going to become the new ceiling, and we could see the share price dramatically drop. And right now, again, it's trading at around 40 cents, so it's very close to that 38% floor. But what does this information matter over the short term if this company could double, triple, or even 10x your money in the future? Doesn't that mean that this company is worth the risk, and I would say it depends on the type of investor you are. Like I said in the beginning, the type of investor I am, it does not meet my investing strategy, my risk tolerance, and a plethora of other things in my portfolio. And I want to quote directly from the article just to give you a narrative from another financial reporter who says, and I quote, it's always difficult to ask consumers to fork over big bucks for a high ticket item like a car. However, with Mullen representing an unproven brand combined with broader pressures from rising interest rates, the narrative for Mullen stock remains incredibly challenging. 
Therefore, investors should exercise strict due diligence irrespective of certain encouraging data, end quote. And I 100% agree with him. Be speculative about this company. Wait for the company to prove itself, otherwise you are taking on unnecessary risk of potential losses in which you don't need to. There are so many other fantastic electric vehicle stocks, why would you risk it with Mullen at this stage? By all means, if they prove themselves, then feel free to invest once you've done your due diligence, but until they they do that, remain skeptical. For the last article, we'll get into some more reasons why I am not buying Mullen as of right now. And I'm not just discriminating on this company just because they were a meme stock, because I think some meme stocks actually can work out over the long term, especially if you just got in and got out. If you swing traded the company or day traded the company and you made out with it, awesome, power to you. But I feel bad for the investors who bought Mullen stock with a buy and hold strategy because they, I believe, will get severely burned. Clearly, Mullen Automotive represents fantastic short-term opportunities to make quick money as long as you weigh your risk responsibly, because certainly you can get in and get out with profits intact, but as of right now, that would be unlikely. But back in the day, when the stock was all of the buzz, you could have easily done that. The main reason for the stock even appreciating wasn't necessarily due to any catalysts, but really about a buzz that they could short squeeze, causing the overall price target to skyrocket upwards based on shorts who are betting against the stock, wanting it to fall, having to cover their overall positions. But if we look at the history of this company, they have lost nearly 97% of their overall value. And even recently, just over the last six months, they have declined by around 47%. Again, in Investing into this company is just not wise at its current state. And the main reason why I am not an investor into this company is that repeatedly the company has overpromised and underdelivered. I even have done a deep dive on Mullen, which is like a 20 minute video telling investors the information they need to know about this very speculative company, such as the CEO running five prior businesses, which all completely failed. The CEO promising things that haven't even happened yet, for instance. Mullen has very ambitious plans to mass produce their Mullen 5, which is an electric crossover SUV. The problem here, though, is that they don't have the manufacturing capacity as of right now to do this. On top of that, the company is supposed to be working on a solid state battery, which could outperform other electric vehicles on the market, making their vehicles go even farther. The only problem with both of these is that right now, production of the Mullen 5 isn't anticipated to start until 2024, which means this company is not going to bring any revenues until 2024. On top of that, we have not received any updates regarding their solid state EV batteries, making this not a very good EV stock. Again, we see the company and the CEO over promising and under delivering. They're not keeping investors up to date. And the real nail in the coffin for me is that this company is struggling financially. They have a very weak balance sheet. But then you might ask yourself, why is the MULN share price and the Mullen stock price increasing as of late? Well, I would say to consider this most recent rally as a temporary wave of excitement based off of no catalyst or fundamental. Essentially, it's just retail investors trying to make other retail investors believe in this company for the potential of a short squeeze. But overall, even if the company does short squeeze and the share price skyrockets in their overall value, making Mullen stock a very good short-term trading opportunity, the the long-term investors on this company are getting burned, and that's who I'm concerned about. I don't mind if you invest into this company and you get out with profits intact. I'm going to high-five you, say, well done, way to make that money, get those bags. But until this company proves themselves, this is not a company you would want to invest into and wait for the long term. Given the current circumstances, Mullen's cash position and their weak overall fundamentals have put this company in a very compromising position. It's almost certain that the company will raise more capital because they'll be forced to or they'll have to file for bankruptcy and how they're going to raise capital and money is through diluting shareholders. That means they're going to decrease the value of their stock to raise more money. And one of the ways that they could potentially do this is when the company likely performs a reverse stock split, which means after the reverse stock split, investors could see that their shares 
are worth around $5 because they have consolidated shares even though no investor will actually see an increase in their overall value. This will allow short sellers and investors betting against this company to beat the stock price down again, potentially putting this company in an even more compromising position. The bear case for Mullen seems pretty cut and dry even though I personally am not betting against this company and like I said before, I will invest into this company if they prove themselves, but you should always make sure to do your own research. So for more updates on Tesla, which is an amazing electric vehicle company, and Mullen, which I have a love-hate relationship with, remember to go and smash that like button, comment your thoughts down below about either of these electric vehicle manufacturers, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you in the next YT video.